Greetings and welcome back to Tailspire. My name is Aaron with Nordic Forge Games and today we're going to be building a boat, a ship, to sail the seven seas. Uh, there's seven of them, right? I guess if we're in a fantasy world, it could be as many seas as we want. I hope you guys are excited as I am. It's been a little while, so we're just going to fire up a new board here and just start building. Knock the rust off of our fingers. Guys. It's been a little while. I haven't really made a video or played with Tailspire in a little bit. But you know what? The channel here on YouTube has not stopped growing. We're getting close to 600 subscribers now. We're about halfway to our monetization goal with the channel. I'm still getting feedback and comments and questions from you guys. And so I just want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for continuing to support me. And if you guys are subscribers and you're not on our Discord or if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, uh, if you want to interact with me a little Little more we play other games on our discord thinking about getting a podcast started like all kinds of different stuff i've also got a second channel called ye bit and dog but that's enough talk i'm excited to jump back into tailspire and have some fun today i just recently watched the pirates of the caribbean movies again and i had an idea for a fun one shot sort of a buccaneer island exploration adventure floating around in my head and i was like you know what let's make a ship it's something i've never done before i can hit the record button let you guys see me sort of figuring it out uh, because I have absolutely no clue where we're starting. I did gather up some different pictures and artwork from the internet uh, as inspiration. I'll go ahead and throw some of those up for you guys to look at now so you can kind of see what I'm hoping to accomplish with the build. And then while we're building, I thought I could talk a little bit about the story idea and the one shot itself. And then hopefully when it's all completed, we'll put it up on Tales Tavern for you guys to download and run your own game. All right, we're going to jump right into build mode by pressing B. And unlike other builds, this one's not going to be situated on a piece of terrain because it's going to be a ship that floats in the ocean, in the water. I'm going to build it right on the ground. Let's say we were at a shipyard or something, and we're sort of putting the vessel together before it goes out to sea. I'm thinking a lot of the harbor stuff is probably going to be great for the boat. And I like the wood floor textures from the rural set. All right, you know what? Let's get us some Ocean Docks Day. Yeah, there we go. Get some seagull seagull action. All right, cool. Just want some ambient sort of sounds as we're building to get us in the right headspace. We're going to hit F2 to center back uh, the middle of our board, and we're going to start right here. On my uh, second monitor over here, I'm going to pull up some pictures of the ship. Now, one of the pictures I have is a top-down view, and I think that's going to be a good way for me to figure out how long things should be for our heroes to move around. So I'm going to start with the middle of the ship and we're going to make all the planks run sort of north to south here. Uh, the other thing I want to do is just grab a regular human so we can see the scale of everything. We'll grab our little Viking dude, plop him down. For the story I'm envisioning, it's not a massive ship. It's like a merchant vessel. You know, there would be people who are, are paying to travel, sort of just like hitching a ride in you know, maybe criminals on the ship, but they're not necessarily a gang of pirates. I know a lot of times ships have, like right in the middle of the ship, they'll have like a hole. And I just want to make sure that I have the right width on either side so that we can have a perfectly square hull. I'm not even sure what the part of a pirate ship is called where, you know, you've seen it. It's usually got like a grate over it to where it goes down into the hull. We're building the very bottom of the ship first as well. This part would actually be underwater, but I'm just trying to get the scale and the size down first, and then we can adjust as needed. About twice as long there for the main section of the boat. I should probably have done some more research about what parts of the boat are called. <laughs> But we're just having fun today. Hope you guys are having a good day too. It is officially summertime. Hope you've been out and checked out some of the cool movies that have come out. Okay, now the back of the boat, it starts to taper backwards. But I don't want to taper back too quickly because then we're going to get a very strange looking boat. We're going to use these one by one pieces to flesh out that sort of slope. I think that looks all right for now. And we're going to kind of follow this same sloping idea for the front of the ship. So what we can do is we can grab this little section here and copy it and just flip it around, put it on the front. The front of the ship has a longer slope. So I'm gonna just add to this. Make it look a little more severe this way. And the ship is gonna get a little bit wider as we build upward toward the deck. So he's down here in the, uh, what would you call this? The the belly of the ship. 
Now the other thing I want to do is because this is setting in water, we don't have to build the whole, you know, giant underside of the ship. But what may be nice is just to add some thickness is to just copy this and just lay it right on top of itself so that we have a thicker sort of room to play with if we want to get rid of some of these blocks for elevation's sake later. The other thing we can do too is remove some of these blocks on the corners to make it look like the ship has a curve to its, its hull. It's looking good because we're eventually going to make this much deeper, but the water needs to be able to come up relatively high so that we can make it look like it's actually sitting down in the water and that there is mass below the waves as well. So it doesn't just look like it's a flat box floating on top of the water, like a piece of cardboard. So I know the bottom area I want to be playable, and it would be cool to have like some spaces for windows or cannons. So I know the main section of the ship was about 16, so I'm going to make it 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, so that we have six windows on each side. Okay, so then maybe we have some regular walls next to these. And this is going to create the height on the side of the ship that I want. So the deck itself will go on top of these walls. So we'll have more planks, you know, around here running across the top. And, you know, I'm trying to think of this the same way that we would build a building. Trying to fill in the holes in the most logical way. Make sure we have floor, you know, supporting them and everything like that. Some pirate ships like get bigger as they go up. So that's what I want to do as well is because this is going to support like the captain's cabin and where the wheel of the ship is and everything. Now the other thing I'm trying to do is uh, make sure to be looking where my players would be looking and fill in any cracks where you may be able to see through the wall. All right. So there is our hull of the ship and where it will be sitting in the water. So now we've got to start thinking about adding the deck. All right, so this is the deck of the ship. And I think we'll probably have three sails, one sort of in the middle, one of the front, and then one to the back. Since it is a rather large ship, the captain's cabin is going to start because we need stairs that go up to our uh, the wheel of the ship and everything like that. And the same thing here, we need to figure out where the elevation is going to increase for the front of the ship as well. And for now, I'm just going to use these standard walls and we can embellish later. I'm just getting an idea of where I want that cabin to start. Bingo. And then we can have some stairs here as well. And then we're going to have railing that goes all the way around this. And then, of course, the big front pointy spike on the front of the ship. <laughs> Not sure what that's called. Okay, so I want to flesh out this the, the captain's cabin. This section is actually bigger and fatter than the front of the ship. So I was thinking if I come out kind of like this... It'll give it that more back-heavy look that we see in movies and stuff like that. If you guys are building your own ship, let me know what you came up with, because I'm sort of, you know, flying by the seat of my pants. Okay, that's a nice size of a cabin, and everything looks good out here. I may create a little more support down here, though. You know, if you're building and it starts to look funny, just look at a picture of a real ship if you're like, I don't know if a ship looks like that. And it's okay if it doesn't look exactly like a real ship too, right? This is Fantasy World, man. You're not trying to win an award for most realistic ship. You're winning an award for most fun had. Captain's door is going to be right in the middle. Nice double door. That would be cool. Yeah. All right. So now I want to play around with some railings. Like a little section that's open. And I don't mind the clipping there. I think it looks cool. And I'm going to rotate a lot of these boards later to give it that more random effect. And then I want the railing to continue up here. Um, and I think we actually have some corner pieces. Yeah. And when your players see this pirate ship that you built for them, they're just going to absolutely crap their pants. Oh, the other thing too is... <laughs> 
uh, in this sort of scenario I'm thinking of, this ship is destroyed, like, at the beginning of the story. <laughs> stairs. Let's figure out some stairs. This looks like a ship, man. I like this a lot. In this little sort of cubby here, we could put supplies and stuff. So what I want to do now is I really like how these stairs look three wide. We'll figure out the pointy part of the ship in a minute. I want to go ahead and build stairs on this side as well, connecting our railing. So in my uh, homebrew world, uh, I do a lot of Viking stuff just because I like Vikings. But uh, there is a southern area of the continent called the Castarian Coast. And that is more like, you know, buccaneer, swashbuckling territory. And I've never really developed their style as far as what they look like because I've always just been like, oh, they're like pirate people. <laughs> But it would be fun to figure out while we're doing this build, what sort of colors or architectural features we may see in Castaria. The section with the wheel is going to be there. So I'm going to put a little risen area so we remind ourselves that's where the, the wheel is going to go. The, the back sail would be right behind the wheel. So let's figure out how we're going to do the sail. Part of me wants to use tree trunks. So what I'm doing is I'm using the grid to kind of figure out about where these poles may be because I want to make sure they're centered and then there's also room for players to move around them. So I'm not sure how important it is for sails to be evenly spaced, but I feel like I like that orientation. Now we need to raise these up about to how high they're going to be. Uh, and I remember if you hold the X key, you can get your item to snap directly on top. So I'm going to snap one on top, rotate, snap it on top, rotate. That looks good, I think. <laughs> okay, we'll figure out the sales last, I believe. There's some stuff from the merchant section, like market stalls, but I thought they would look really cool as sales for your boat. You know, put them up there like that somehow. If I was going to build a big pointy front of my boat, seems really aggressive point. If I started down here and built up to it, maybe it would look more natural. So I know right now this front section looks a little bit odd. I think it's going to look better if I add some more of this texture to the rest of the ship. So your eye isn't immediately drawn like, that's made out of a bunch of weird texture, you know. And then we could add some supports or something to these later. And we may can find some more uses for this straw texture as we go along. And I think that's going to divert attention away from this. I am really liking where it's going. We've still got to work on our sails. We've still got to work on decorating the ship, making sure people can get from the deck to the hull of the ship. I think the size we have it at is, is huge. -ish. And it's custom. It's yours. You built it. And that's the thing that matters the most. There's still a lot to do on this ship. I like this little guy. He looks a little bit like me. He's got a hammer. 
So I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully, if you followed along, you've started to framework up your own ship. So I'm going to break the video up into multiple parts as I move throughout this build and show you guys each section. So this is sort of the main section. We're getting it all down and dirty, just like with all of our other builds. Get the framework done so we know spatially where everything needs to be. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm happy to have you. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on all the cool stuff we're doing over here at Nordic Forge Games. The channel's continuing to grow. I'm very thankful for everybody that has supported me so far. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Keep being awesome. Keep building awesome things. And bring up me, Joe Ho.